How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. This video is everything you need to know about Series 23, the summer party update for Horizon 5 that releases this week. It's just been announced, we know all the new cars, the new story, everything you need to know about it is right here. Let's jump straight into it and start off with the festival playlist and the new cars. For the full series, for 80 points you can get the first new car, the Ford Mustang GT, a Diberti design and for 160 points, the Dodge Super B. On to week one. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the Ford XP Falcon, and the 40 points, the McLaren 765LT. The Fords have on shot for that first week has stuff like the Bugatti T35C, 911 GT3 RS, Red Round Shades, and the Minecraft theme horn. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges on that first week. On to week two. For 20 points, you can get the third new car of this month, the Hot Wheels Trans AM. And then for 40 points, the Audi RS4 Avant. The Force of One shot for that week has the Napier Railton, the Ferrari 488 Pista, the Orange Suit, and an Air Guitar Emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. On to the third week, we have another new car for the Toyota GR86 from 2022 for 20 points. For 40 points, we've got the McLaren 650S Spider returning. The Forza on shop for that third week has the Shelby Cobra 427, Supervan, uh, sorry, the Ford Supervan 3, Bird Pattern Sundress, and a Confetti Cannon Horn. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. On to the fourth and final week, we have for 20 points the next new car, the Pontiac Firebird Trans AM, and for 40 points the FFSF90 Stradale. The Forza Von Shop for that week has the Porsche 959, the McLaren 600LT McLaren Coupe, that does say McLaren twice then, a creative T top, and a snap emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. If you're finding this video helpful guys make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this i do them every week every month everything you need to know so that are the new cars there's one for the series and four in one in each week so that's five in total we do actually have a sixth new car which is within the new horizon story which is displayed here horizon story icons of speed you'll experience across eight chapters team up with alejandra the head mechanic at Fest Horizon Festival and experience iconic cars across the history of racing as you inspire her spark once more. Now this actually adds up exactly with what we guessed in my last video when we did sort of the guessing and the clues video for this update so it's glad to hear we got that somewhat right. The update will have 10 new accolades, some of which you get from the story and some of which you get from the Festival Plays reward cards. Now the sixth new car for the update within the Horizon story is the 2019 Hennessy Camaro Exorcist, another car that we predicted will come in the last update that we also got right. I can't take all credit for that, but it was mentioned in my previous video as a potential car, so that's good to see. That is the sixth and final new car for this update. Pretty good cars, if you ask me. I'm very happy with that lineup. Now, we also have a permanent increase to the length of night time. We recognized how much you loved the longer nights during the Midnight's Horizon series and carefully evaluated the best way to prolong the night hours indefinitely without it stretching a little bit too far. They have changed it to be longer than what it usually is, but not as long as the Midnight Horizon change. This change was made entirely on the Suggestions Hub contributions. Once again, the Suggestions Hub is such an important place to contribute to what's coming into the next updates. This is a prime example of that. We wanted Nighttime Extended. We've got it. Thanks solely to the Suggestions Hub. So that's good to hear. That will be permanently increased in the Midnight Horizon update. Now we do have some evolving world changes. The stadium has had a bit of a makeover. 
With summer style ramps and smashable props, it was a perfect location to break a sweat. The Horizon Street scene is also dressed up for the occasion with new decorations and smashable objects. Look for the smashable ice cream cone collectibles on the beach near Playa Azul in week two of the series for a new collectible. I do have a quick photo here of what the stadium does going, does going to look like, is going to look like, and it's not what I expected, but it's still pretty cool. Obviously, it's a beach with some big waves that are almost tsunami size. So that'd be cool to drive around in, and I presume all the trees are smashable as well, so that'll be fun. I do have a screenshot of the street scene festival as well that's had some palm trees plopped about everywhere as well. Looks very much similar to the stadium. There's probably some other revolving world things jotted around the map as well, but that is, that's what we have so far in terms of photos. So that looks cool. Now in terms of the bug fixes, obviously we only have a general list at the moment. There's a lots of fixes in this update, but I only have the main ones to display here. Um, I don't need to read through them, you can pause and read them if you want. And some event lab props are coming as well. Palm tree cut out, wave cut out, and ice cream cone. I can imagine a few people will be making the most of them. Now, that is everything that is coming within series 23, but we have been given a hint at series 24, which is looking to be pretty massive. So I'm gonna talk about it now quickly. Italian automotive, and all we can see from it about it so far is that Alfa Romeo, Fiat, a bath and Lancia are all returning as car manufacturers. Now, this tells us a lot about how manufacturers, cars, body kits all disappear between Horizon games, but then later come back. We're not going to talk about this massively right now, but I don't want people thinking that between Horizon 4 and Horizon 5, that Playground Games willingly removed loads of manufacturers, loads of cars and loads of body kits. It's so much more complicated than that. There's licensing that's involved, which is a huge part of it. Licenses may be temporary, they may be game specific, and you can't always get them renewed for the next title. Might take a little bit of negotiating, it might take another contract to expire, another license to expire that's in another game for example for, the, for them to then reinstate the licenses and get these manufacturers back in the game but what I'm trying to say is seeing these four manufacturers return is a great sign it's a great sign to see that these manufacturers want to return to Horizon game it's a good sign that we hopefully won't lose any big manufacturers big car names big brands for future Horizon games. Even if we do, there's a very good chance they will return anyway. We had Toyota return, we have, we've now got these four returning, we had Rocket Bunny return, and all the other ones that I'm sure you know that have returned to the game. So we'll know more about Italian Automotive nearer, nearer, nearer to August 17th, as you can see. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, let me know what you're looking forward to the most. I'll see you all later.